everybody, today we're going to be doing chapter 8, hopefully 9 and 10, but maybe not. Shall we start? Chapter 8. But God showed concern for Noah. He also showed concern for all the wild animals and livestock that were with Noah in the ark. So God sent a wind over the earth, and the waters began to go down. The springs at the bottom of the oceans had been closed. The windows of the skies had been closed and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The water continued to go down from the earth. At the end of the 150 days, water had gone down. On the 17th day of the seventh month, the ark came down to rest on the mountains of Arad. The waters continued to go down until the 10th month. Of the, on the first day of that month, the tops of the mountains could be seen. After 40 days, Noah opened the window he made in the ark. He sent a raven out and, and kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth. Then Noah sent a dove out. He wanted to see if the water had gone down from the surface of the ground. But the dove couldn't find any place to put its feet down. There was still water over the whole surface of the earth. So the dove returned to Noah in the ark. Noah reached out his hand and took the dove in. He brought it back to himself in the ark. He waited for seven more days. Then he sent out the dove from the ark again. In the evening, the dove returned to him. There its beak was freshly picked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the water on the earth had gone down. He waited seven more days. Then he sent the dove out again. But that time, it didn't return to him. It was the first day of the first month of Noah's six hundred and first year. The water had dried up from the earth. Noah removed the covering from the ark. He saw that the surface of the ground was dry, but by the twenty seventh seventh day of the second month, the earth was completely dry. Then God said to Noah, "Come out of the ark, bring your wife and your sons and their wives with you." Bring every kind of living thing that is with you. Bring the birds and animals and all the creatures that move along the ground. They can multiply on the earth. They can have little ones and increase their numbers as well. So Noah came out of the ark. His sons and wives and his sons' wives were with him. All of the animals came out of the ark. The creatures that move along the ground also came out. So did all of the birds. Everything that moves on the earth came out of the ark, and on one kind after another came out. Then Noah built an altar to honor the Lord. He took some of all the clean animals and birds and sacrificed a brunt of the fur, furrings to the Lord on the altar. Their smell was pleasant to the Lord. He said to himself, I will never put a curse on the ground again because of man. I will not do it even though his heart is always directed toward what is evil. His thoughts are evil from the time he is young. I will never destroy all living things again, as I have just done. As, the, as long as the earth lasts, there will always be a time where crops need to be planted again. As long as the earth lasts, there will always be a cold and heat. There will always be summer and winter, day and night. That's chapter 8, everybody. Please subscribe, and we might do chapter 9 also right now.